to Lady Fire's Kitchen. And so what's cooking for today? We're going to have a special dip slash appetizer for you um, so that you can make it just before you sit down and enjoy your favorite food for all day. So anyway, uh, this special recipe is called Super Bread Bowl Dip. I'm going to introduce to you some of the ingredients that we're going to be using. I will be giving your measurements or uh, pretty soon. So some of the things that you're going to be needing is of course you're gonna need an egg. You're gonna need some garlic and this right here is sharp white cheddar which I'm going to be shredding in a little bit. You're going to be needing three of this French bread um, Pillsbury dough. You're also gonna need uh, the cream cheese, the whole thing. Of course, you're going to be, actually the recipe calls just for kale, but I love um, spinach, so I'm just gonna go like a cup of kale and a cup of spinach. Uh, you will need anchoke hearts, the whole can, a little bit of salt and pepper, and you're going to be needing some ricotta cheese and some farm cheese. Um, so that's, that's some of the ingredients that I'm going to be needing. Uh, or that you're going to be needing to do this wonderful recipe that you are just going to love and enjoy. So if you stick with me, just give me a minute and we get started. And for our dip, we're going to uh, use the following. One cup of kale. One cup of spinach. Of course, they're cooked. One can of artichoke hearts, drained and chopped. One block of cream cheese. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it a little bit so that it'll be easier to mix. There you go. One and a half cup of shredded white cheddar. A lot of yummy gooey cheese, awesome. I love it. We are also going to put in half a cup of you can either use fresh or um, already done grated farm cheese. Half a cup of bricotta cheese. Two teaspoons, preferably fresh garlic. We lost our garlic right there. And of course, a little bit of salt. And pepper to taste. And we're going to mix this all up. And this is going to be the dip. I can already smell that garlic, it smells so good. To me, all recipes depend, you know, you can add, take, subtract, um, replace to your taste buds. You know, you can play with your recipes and add more of what you really love and you can subtract of the things you know a little bit on what you don't like so actually this is going to be the dip of our recipe we still have the bread to work with and i can already tell this is going to be awesome my family is going to love this 
I'm gonna love you for making something like this um, for food bowl season. I mean, what's food bowl season without having, um, sharing with your family and friends dips and, and, and um, things and food to share with, you know? And every time my family's gonna sit down for football. Doesn't matter what it is, it's football, baseball, boxing. I am going to make them something very special. And that makes moments even more special. So we're almost at the end, getting this all together. And I will be seeing you in a minute because we still have the bread to put together, uh, of course, in a football shape. For the ones I love. Hey guys, for, for the next, um, for the rest, the recipe, what you really do need next is going to be your French bread. And I am going to attempt to make this look kind of sort of like a football just for fun. So let's, let's try it. Just like that, get it out. And spread it on your, t uh, on your pan. Flat. So we're just gonna try to make it like a square as best as you can. If you make a little hole, no worries. You can fix that. And there you go. Spread evenly. And we're gonna open another one. And the other two, we're going to make the shape of a food bowl, okay? Here you go. Trying to find a good spot. Oh, here we go. And I'm going to attempt to make this one long or as long as I possibly can so I can make the food ball. It's best if you still have it some somewhat cold, it'd be easier to manage. Here we go. This is fun. <laughs> it's really fun. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing with your third. Try to work as fast as you can because it'll get warm quite quickly. And if it does, it's harder to work with. Same thing. Excuse me, that. Oopsie. I'm gonna try to stretch it as much as I possibly can because I want that football. All right. 
We're getting there, right? It's looking like a football, right? I'm gonna make the whole big so I can put a lot of the dip we already made. That delicious dip. Try to put them together, pinch them so you can. Perfect. All right, and to get these to stay together, we're gonna need a little assistance from Mr. Toothpick here. So I'm just gonna go here, make them stay. And I'm gonna use another one here to make them stay. And I'm just gonna keep on working on this dough to make them the football shape I want. Perfect. And now you're gonna have to cut the edges. So that you can make more of the football shape. And by the way, you know what I did? I also sprayed the pan so that it doesn't stick in the until you can remove it. So here we go. All the way around. And with this, I'm just gonna make the uh, the football strings. Is that what you call it? I'm not quite sure, but those are the little strings that go here and here. So I'm working as fast as I can so this doesn't get hot and then it's harder for me to work with. Okay. Take it all out. And separately, we're gonna try to do what goes in the center. I'm gonna make an extra one here. Perfect. Now we're going to do in a second, we're gonna put some little egg, egg wash so uh, they will shine a little bit. And now we're going to do a little egg wash on top of our dough. So we're just gonna brush it everywhere. This gives a little shine. So it makes it look pretty. The whole thing. So add a little bit, just a tad of water to one egg. And that's all you need to do. Make sure everything's covered. And let's do our strings as well. And right after, we're just gonna add some of our mixture. Some of our mixture in the center. Let's fill that up real good. Looks great. It's fun to make though. A lot of fun. Put that extra there. And we're going to put it in our preheated oven at 350. It depends on what kind of oven you have. 
We're gonna put it for 15 to 20 minutes. Not looking right. This guy's still gonna get a little bit of pinch here, so the And we're going to the oven now. Here we go. See you in 15. All right, y'all. This is ready. Oh my God, this is better than I thought. That's a big football. I'm excited. In my head, it actually took like 22 minutes. It didn't take 15, so I added another five minutes. And then I added another two minutes. Um, and um, it looks amazing, actually. And this is my little ornament for the center. There you go. Isn't that fantastic? And it's, I wish you could smell it. It just smells delicious. I know they're just going to absolutely love me after this. And I'm gonna get a kid. It's not only beautiful, it smells great. And I know it's gonna be fantastic. I know you're gonna love this um, this recipe. And the people who you're gonna make it for are just gonna thank you for it. So, to welcome uh, the new football season. This is it. This is my present. Yes. You guys, after this wonderful, appetizer we are going to be seeing flat cup and the co-host new co-host may i ask is the college football enthusiast coming up next in a few seconds stick around